Yeah, I know a lot of you guys out there house hunting. Take a look at this one. A good, good deal in real estate, uh, particularly if you want to live in Beverly Hills. Now, the price on this house that you're taking a look at just been reduced down 24 percent. Now, it's only going to cost you about one hundred forty nine million dollars. By the way, it belongs to hedge fund operator Jeff Green. And that's the same guy that earlier this year told Americans that, guess what? You should learn how to live with less. So. Think about that. How can we rekindle the American dream when you've got politicians and billionaires telling us, forget about it? Maybe, maybe that's why Donald Trump is soaring. But the question is, is the American dream really still attainable? Why do these limo billionaire hedge fund guys get special tax breaks? It's making so many people angry. The deck feels stacked against them. Want to bring back Dr. Gina Loudon and Ross Gerber. All right, Dr. Gina, uh, you know, listen, I preach the American dream all the time. But admittedly, it is getting harder and harder, particularly from a spiritual point where people look up to their leader, a president that never talks about really, truly succeeding in this country, and then other successful people who say it's no longer possible. Yeah, there are two kinds of rich people, Charles, and you know this probably better than anyone. Uh, those like Obama and this guy with the house who uh, don't want anyone else to be rich. They want to be the only rich guy. And then there are those uh, like Donald Trump, like you, who say, hey, I made a lot of money. I want to help you make a lot of money because I know that we all do better when we all make a lot of money. Two different kinds of people. So, I, you know, I, 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 I just don't have a lot of respect for this guy speaking from such a sort of greedy elitist perspective. You know, I agree with you thousand percent. Unfortunately, I think the message is beginning to seep in. We see entrepreneurship at all time lows. We see and hear yep. things from millennials that doesn't sound like their uh, previous generations with respect to, hey, I can start a business. I can do things and become wildly successful. That feels like it's fading away, Ross. Well, you know, I live in Southern California and it's a totally different vibe where I live. It's entrepreneurial businesses everywhere. I got buddies uh, raising money and, and, and hiring people and doing amazing things. So I don't agree with this at all. I, I think that there's great opportunities out there. You can start a business on the internet right now and be a multimillionaire. I know you can, I know Ross. kids How doing many? it. I know in Silicon Valley, over half the jobs, half the businesses being created right now are being created by people who weren't born in this country. So I understand where you are is like That's a right. magnet for that kind of stuff. But I'm talking about native-born Americans that used to believe when Tocqueville came to this country, he went back to Europe. You know what he told everyone? Those people are nuts. They think everyone can be rich. If they weren't born in the realm, they think they can be rich. That, that European thinking, he could not believe that this country was so, uh, you know, that we had such chutzpah, if you will, that everyone thought they could make it. So yeah, I get where you are, but you might have to take a drive from where you are to me. I say probably I, I, swing listen. through Mississippi, swing through Alabama, hey, Charles. Come, come up through Oklahoma. Go ahead, Dr. Gina. Charles, 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 things aren't so great in California, by the way. There is a mass oh, exodus of the middle class come out of California. You can say what you want, but people are moving. I live in California, too. I live in Southern California. That is not I actually true. know the it neighborhood so really crowded. well. I can't it even is, get home. I, I, you're uh, wrong. That's not okay. true. It, people we, are coming Jerry into this Brown state. Has made California you can't such drive a anywhere. Well, hold, 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 go ahead. It's let's, so no, expensive. Gina, let Gina finish, Ross, and then you get back in. Go ahead, Gina. The, the middle class is absolutely leaving. Charles, all you have to do is look at the statistics. These statistics are out there everywhere. I've seen you talk about this a well, hundred times on your we do show. Know, so Ross, we what do know, saying is not true. Ross, we do know that over a million people left California. A lot of businesses have left also. And they've been replaced mostly by babies and illegal immigrants. So I know it's crowded where you <laughs> are. Exactly I know it's right. crowded where you are, but a lot of talent has left <laughs> that state. That's a ridiculous conversation. First of all, first of all, people have left, jobs have left California. And I agree with that. It's very cumbersome state to start a business and Tesla is a perfect example opening up the plant across the border here in Nevada versus California but the the fact of the matter is is California is booming right now there's construction on every corner in every type of neighborhood there's jobs being created constructions everywhere it's unbelievable boom here right well, now. Well, we so can just get that to spread. If we can forward. get that to come out okay. east. Mississippi is a disaster. If, if, and we, it, if nobody we can, can get that to come out east, Ross, okay. everybody would feel a lot better. All right, guys, let's leave look it right. at New York City. Let's Charles, leave it right New there. I, hey, listen, there right off the beach. There are a few, there are a few <laughs> sweet spots, if you will, but for the most part, the country is yeah, hurting. Yeah, like every major city. I was in Chicago. I was in. Well, I'm glad you didn't get shot while you were there. Let's leave it there, guys. Have a great three-day weekend. All right.